Welcome to the Ham Shack, N5BSB, Sunday afternoon, doing some testing with the new SWR power meter, and also at the same time I'm testing out my uh, field day portable go box, this is my 100 watt box uh, probably be using for field day so you never want to wait till the last minute to test your stuff out so I've been running it through the paces for the last day and a half and so far it's been operating pretty good uh, just doing a little bit of FT8 here mainly running you know, giving the batteries a good rundown and charging them back up and stuff. But for those of you that uh, I've got a video on this go box in my YouTube channel, if you're interested in any more details about that. Uh, but anyway, um, while we're waiting on a contact to pop up, let's talk about this uh, meter. So, I don't know the actual name. This is a Chinesium tuner. You can see the model number there, CQV SWR 508. And I'm really liking it. It's battery powered. Uh, I have charged it up and I've been using it for three days. And it's still running just fine. I think the original charge voltage was 3.9 something volts but as you can see all the different information it gives you and it has a peak hold there there is a menu button up here you press the uh, menu uh, if that will focus but you can set your SWR alarm right now I've got it set for about 2.5 because I'm on 17 meters and this antenna is not uh, resonant on 17 meters so um, the, it, the alarm from the factory was set at 2 and on some bands like the low end of 80 I might be hitting that a little over that your off time here I believe is for uh, it, it the the unit will shut itself off after after a certain time let's just push this and see what it says 10 minutes it looks like so you can uh, you can change that if you want. There's a brightness setting. There is a calibration. I haven't messed with any of that. You can put your call sign in there under the name, and that's pretty much um, uh, all there is uh, to it. But uh, it's a nice, nice little watt meter. HF only. It doesn't do VHF, UHF, but. Uh, pretty nice. I think I just made a contact here so I'm going to have to get busy on this. Yep. Uh, and I got somebody else actually calling. So let me uh, uh, get that started. N6WDC. I forgot to log this one earlier. I'll have to go back and adjust the time on that. Uh, but anyway, um, that's kind of my thoughts on the. Uh, let me put this in for a minute. N6 W. Was it JT? I forgot now. N6WDC. Uh, and I did not get that. Give me just one second here. Minus three, minus eight.
Alright. W one OP. Seven minus fifteen. Okay. All right. So anyway, um, I had to take care of those couple of contacts there. Don't want to leave the people holding, but. Um, Anyway, as you can see, uh, SWR is running about 1.8, so I probably could have got by with a 2.0 alarm, but I set it to 2.5 just so it wasn't going off. Um, overall, I like the meter. Um, if you're like me and your eyes are not so good anymore, having the big digital readout as well as the bar graph, I think it's uh, thinks it worked works out pretty good and from what I can tell the SWR is fairly accurate I think it might be just a tad off like maybe two tenths because on my 20 meter band it's it usually runs uh, according to my LP 100A which I would trust it a lot more than this one it runs 1.02 on this one it shows 1.00 so not not a big deal but overall pretty satisfied with it and uh, uh, that's about it for what's going on in the in the shack today doing that testing out the go box doing some FT8 so we'll catch you on the next one and uh, Hope everybody has a good Memorial Day and uh, remember those that have fallen. Catch you later.